Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at why peppers taste hot. The heat sensation is caused by capsaicin, which is a colorless, odorless, oily chemical found in peppers. Capsaicin binds with certain sensory neurons, which then more or less trick your body into thinking that it is being burned or at least experiencing excessive amounts of heat in the area that the capsaicin comes into contact with, even though no actual physical burning is occurring. Specifically, what is going on is that the capsaicin is binding to the vanilloid receptor, VR1, which is a member of the superfamily TRP ion channel and thus is referred to as TRPV. By binding to the VR1 receptor, the capsaicin molecule will produce the same sensation that normal heat will produce when activating the TRP receptors. Thus, your mouth feels really hot, even though it's not. In extreme cases where exposure to capsaicin is high, such as in pure capsaicin extract, the sensation can be so hot that the body will be tricked into inflaming itself, so it would appear as if you are actually burned, even though the capsaicin doesn't actually burn you at all, it just tricks your brain into thinking that it's being burned. Capsaicin is not just a substance that makes your food extra tasty. It is also used in pepper spray, hence the name. Anytime relatively undiluted capsaicin comes into contact with your skin, particularly your eyes or breathed into your lungs, it will cause you to feel like you are being burned even though you aren't. So it makes it a very effective deterrent without actually causing any real damage to the person being sprayed or rather I should say causes no real damage if it's not too strong of a level of capsaicin. Large enough quantities of capsaicin can cause your skin to turn bluish, severely inhibit your breathing, cause convulsions, and possibly eventual death. However, the minimal amount of capsaicin in peppers or even the larger amounts in regular pepper spray make it extremely unlikely you'd ever come into contact with enough of this for this to actually happen, unless someone sprayed law enforcement grade pepper spray directly down your throat throat or something. Most of the capsaicin in peppers tends to be centered around the seeds themselves. This is a defense mechanism that the plants use to keep fungus, animals, and bugs that would destroy the seeds from wanting to eat the peppers. One of the animals that capsaicin has no effect on is birds. Birds also can't really chew the seeds. Thus, when the birds eat the fruit and then pass the seeds through their digestive tracts, they deposit them all over the place along with some nice fertilizing feces. Humans are about the only animal Animals that eat peppers that actually do tend to destroy the seeds through mashing them with our teeth. Almost all other animals, fungi, bugs that would destroy the seeds are repelled by the capsaicin. Now, as to why mint tastes cold. This is similar to what's happening with peppers and capsaicin. A chemical in mint, menthol, tricks the brain into thinking that the area the menthol is applied to is cold. More specifically, menthol binds with cold-sensitive receptors. These receptors contain certain ion channels, with the most pertinent one in this case being TRPN8. The menthol makes these much more sensitive than normal, which makes your brain think that you are feeling a cold sensation, when in fact everything is more or less the same temperature as before. The extra sensitivity is why when you eat peppermint, which has a relatively high level of menthol, and then you breathe in deeply through your mouth, your mouth feels extra cold. Your cold receptors are reacting much more easily than they normally would to the air, which is cooler than the inside of your mouth. Now when experiments for the brave among you. Take something like a jalapeno pepper and a peppermint and eat them at the same time. Does the hot or cold win out? Do they cancel each other out or do you feel both at the same time? Do report back to us in the comments below. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to talk to us in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out some of our other videos over there on the right and thank you for watching.